Hello, my name's Katie Frit and I am just going to show you one of my paintings. Um, I've speeded up the video uh, to get through it a bit more quickly. Um, now these these pictures I'm currently selling in my Etsy shop. Um, this the this one and others like it. I've done like a series of ten. So um, although they're all individually hand painted, I I'm because I'm going to do ten that are looking going to look you know very similar. I thought it was a bit unfair to say that they were completely one-off pieces so although they're all hand painted they're actually sort of one of ten similar pieces um, so yeah they're available in my Etsy shop um, and so I'm just uh, painting this here and the one in the shop may look a bit different as uh, sort of as the colours sometimes run and things like that but I've had to change it after the uh, after I've stopped filming I've found that the style of my style that uh, I do with my art it seems to suit silk painting really well um, I quite like just the black and white images but it is quite nice to have colour on some of them and it can make a real difference and silk painting is just it just is so gorgeous it just spreads all the color just spreads out and it's so quick um, and uh, it's quite tricky to deal with the silk paint when it wants to do something that you don't want it to do so you have to not be so precious about it and if something goes slightly wrong you might have to change what you wanted and sometimes you can get a really nice effect that you could you may want to recreate so um, here I've I've put on some red paint in the background because I really wanted it to be quite a vibrant piece and quite sort of violent in a way um, so yeah I wanted this woman to be sort of a monster in a way, a bit like a Greek monster. I'm just dabbing out the extra paint that's gone on top of the gutter because if it dries on the gutter it doesn't look as nice. And also if there's too much paint the paint can spread over the gutter lines and ruin the rest of the picture. So there we go, that one's finished.